Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com. Google Maps 5 has been released for Android, and in this video, we're going to take a look at how it works here on the Nexus S. Let's get to it. Now, of course, Google Maps 5 will be released for the other platforms in due time. It's starting out on Android. We're testing on the Google Nexus S to get the best experience possible because there's a lot of sort of high performance requiring uh, tactics that this new version of Google Maps employs. For example, it does vector-based rendering so that it's faster. Uh, it also pre-caches map data so that it seems like the data of the maps is preloaded onto your device so there's less checkerboards, uh, which can be quite annoying. So let's go into here and we're gonna zoom out and we're gonna turn off the layer view here. Um, we don't want to see the satellite view. And let's say we're in downtown San Francisco and we're looking around and presumably looking for a nearby coffee shop or something. Watch what happens now as you get close in on the streets. You're going to see buildings pop up. Boom, they're there. They kind of fade into view. And now with kind of a convergence-like feature between Google Earth and Google Maps, we can do this really awesome. 3D pen and the performance is awesome. Then we can rotate our fingers with multi-touch here and kind of look at the city of San Francisco in a 3D way. And I can, I can do pretty much three gestures in one with two fingers on the screen. I can tilt up and down. I can pivot around like this, or I can pinch to zoom. So a lot of multi-touch capabilities here. And by the way, a setting that you want to change right out of the box, especially if you have an unlimited data plan, go down here into settings, cache settings, and turn on prefetch on mobile. What this will do is prefetch map data so you're not seeing the checkerboards. Again, if you're not on an unlimited data plan, you don't want to use this uh, because it's going to use a lot of data, but hey, if you got the unlimited data, you might as well. So really cool vector-based navigation. It is super fluid, super smooth, and you get this 3D view. The buildings are sort of popping up as I'm moving along. Of course, the 3D effect is only present in, in cities. And if we tilt back and we zoom out, we're just back to the standard map view. And it's just very little checkerboards here because it's preloading the data, sort of anticipating that I'm going to be wanting to move uh, around on the screen. So really cool. If you've got an Android phone, you should definitely hit up the upgrade. It's free and it, uh, it works pretty darn well. Versions for other platforms are forthcoming. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching. That's it for now.